Welcome back to the Galley of the Sun. It's Sunday and we have a bunch of people coming over for dinner. So what better time to do some carne asada? So carne asada translates literally to grilled meat. So today we've got about seven pounds of skirt steak and all the ingredients necessary to make a fantastic carne asada marinade. They're gonna be going on the grill in about six hours. I want about five, six hours to let the marinade penetrate into the meat to get that fantastic flavor. So let's get going. Using our brighter bucket, the junior one, we're gonna go ahead and mix this marinade up. If you have a smaller amount, absolutely. Use a nine by 13 inch baking pan or something to that effect. All of these ingredients are tripled, but you can get the actual ingredients for a single serving in the description below. Starts with olive oil. Make sure you have yourself a good extra virgin olive oil. This is one cup. See if you guys can do the math, right? Three times, one third cup. Next is a three quarter cup of soy sauce. Six tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Three quarter cup of orange juice. A full cup of lime juice four and a half teaspoons of chipotle powder, three teaspoons of cumin, three teaspoons of oregano, and of course, if you're making a carne asada, why wouldn't you use Mexican oregano? Three teaspoons of onion powder, and about four cloves of garlic, minced up pretty good. Now I cheated, we buy the jar of minced garlic, so it makes it a little easier. Um, really not gonna make a difference in flavor in this marinade, so. In goes plenty of that garlic, and you know we love garlic here on the galley. And lastly, a cup and a half of freshly chopped cilantro. Mm, I love the smell of cilantro. If you're one of those people that can't have cilantro because of the flavor and it, you've got that, that it tastes like soap thing, absolutely leave that out, but mm. All right, onto the meat. So, as I said, I got about seven pounds of skirt steak here. We'll get one of them opened up, trimmed a little bit, and then into the marinade. Just make sure when you're marinating that all of your meat is fully submerged, no matter what vessel you're doing it in, whether it's a, a Ziploc bag or that nine and a half by 13 inch baking pan or a brinder bucket. Here, we're just gonna trim off some of this excess fat. Most of that's just pulling right away. That's good. As you can see, skirt steak has a lot of intermuscular fat, so you're gonna get plenty of flavor because as we all know, fat is where the flavor is. So that looks good. You don't wanna trim too, down too much, leave a little bit on there. Into the marinade it goes. All right, so what I like doing is Take it in and dredge it a little bit. Make sure all sides are nice and covered and then leave it in the marinade. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of this trimmed up into the marinade and then into the refrigerator for the next five and a half hours. After that, we'll see you when it's ready. That skirt steak has been in the marinade for almost six hours. Got the Yoder smoker heating up to 450 degrees. We're gonna do some direct cooking on this. So let's get it out get it on the tray here. We're not gonna wipe it off or anything. We're gonna let it stay wet from that marinade so that when we put it on, it gets a really nice char. So here we go. Oh. That smells amazing. All right, there we go. Let's get this out onto the smoker and get it a cooking. It's not gonna take too long, probably maybe two or three minutes aside. We'll have to do it in batches. I have another tray over here for the ones that get done. I've got a piece of aluminum foil coming out to me so I can cover them when, they're, uh, when they come off and keep them warm. Let's go. Oh, you hear that nice sizzle. We're gonna get some nice char on these, flip them over, let them finish cooking. All 
We're looking for a really good medium rare. When we pull them off, they're gonna sit about 10 minutes. It'll finish cooking them up to about a medium and they'll be nice and tender. Oh, look at that. Beautiful color on that. Pretty thick piece, so it's gonna take a little bit longer. These are all looking great. Let's go let them rest for a little bit inside, then we'll make some tacos. Okay, let's get this show on the road and get all these people fed. They're hungry. So, oh, doesn't that look amazing? And I'll tell you, it smells fantastic. So, got my big knife. Cut some of this. Oh, perfect, medium rare, excellent. Get a nice chop on it. All right, I gotta try it. Mmm. Wow, that's fantastic. All right, so get yourself a nice quality tortilla, whether you like corn or flour. I enjoy a flour tortilla more than a corn myself. Put some of that carne asada on it. A little shredded lettuce. And some of that homemade pico de gallo that we made yesterday. All right, let's give it a bite. Fantastic. Mm. The flavors from that marinade come through with the meat. You still get that nice umami beef flavor. And then that fresh pico, the acidic in there from the tomatoes and the lime juice. It's so fresh when you bite into it. Man, you've got to try this. Well, if you like what you saw here, give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. You'll continue to see all the videos we make. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified every time we do put another video out. Until next time, we'll see you later on the Galley of the Sun.